chores. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharik alaka labbaik Inna alhamdah wa ni'amata Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes, are we live? Are we live? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Yes, we are live indeed, brothers and sisters, mashallah. Apologies for that, subhanAllah. This is the final, brothers and sisters, and we are in for an amazing, amazing treat. Yes, it is time for the moment, the episode that we have all been waiting for, brothers and sisters. I'm your host, and we are definitely on our way, brothers and sisters, to seeing a great, great show, inshallah. Allah. Remember the prizes, brothers and sisters, or the prize tonight is the trip of a lifetime to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Mecca al mukarrama subhanAllah, to go to Umrah. 3,000 pounds we contribute towards that, inshaAllah. What a, what a series we've had, brothers and sisters, through the last episodes previously. For the uh, five episodes, we have had many families that have come forward, the top three from each episode, they have battled their way to the final so that they may win this trip of a lifetime. Let's take a look at the Mecca al mukarrama tonight. Brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, this is what it's all about tonight. And what is special about tonight's episode is that we're actually going to go live with the families. Yes, that is right. We are going to go live, brothers and sisters, with the families. We're going to chat to them. We're going to see how they're feeling, if they're nervous, if they're excited, if they're confident. And we want all of you to enjoy yourself as well tonight, subhanAllah. Remember, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, that if you didn't get through this year, then uh, inshallah ta'ala next year, we're looking to have a slightly bit of a different format inshallah. You're always welcome to get involved every Ramadan subhanAllah. Eid is only two, three days away. So what about securing the trip to Mecca for that amazing, amazing trip inshallah as the greatest Eid gift that you can possibly imagine inshallah. If I can get a bit of a talk back to see what we're doing at the moment inshallah. But... Brothers and sisters, we are going to go through those rules once again. So, uh, if we take a look, inshallah ta'ala, here are some of the house rules due to the time delay in your TV transmission. Uh, please pay on your, play on your mobile or smartphone device, inshallah, or a tablet, something like that, inshallah ta'ala. And remember, brothers and sisters, the fastest answer will go uh, and get more points during the live show, inshallah. Uh, yes, shall we um, take a look at who is playing tonight? Shall we meet the contestants, inshallah, brothers and sisters? Because we have had so many families involved tonight, subhanallah. And I think we're going to go to some of the amazing people, inshallah, that they are not just a name anymore. They are on screen. Now, don't be nervous, guys. Mashallah. Mashallah. Shall we take a look at uh, who is live with us mashallah mashallah we've got the guys uh, there subhanallah yes now i got so here are the finalists mashallah tabarakallah uh we've got can we get the names up as well inshallah ta'ala i'm just going to give salams to each of you guys uh how are you guys feeling by the way you excited you eager inshallah <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, look, even the two boys at the top, MashaAllah, what team is that? Can we go to the two brothers at the top? MashaAllah, okay, we'll go with Mystic Staff, Mystic Staff, MashaAllah, he's got his uh, his cap on, he's ready, MashaAllah. Uh, now, Mystic Staff, SubhanAllah, how are you feeling? Do you think you can win the show? Inshallah. Inshallah, ready, Alhamdulillah, excellent, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, Allah bless you. So... We've got Sheikh Toji. Now, which one is the Sheikh? We've got two of you there. Who's actually the Sheikh? Is it the guy wearing the nice Moroccan juba, Or is it the other brother? Me, me. You're the Sheikh, Sheikh Toji. So who, who's, who's next to you then? Oh, uh, it's my younger brother. Your younger brother, subhanAllah. Do you guys think you got what it takes to go to Umrah tonight? Inshallah, inshallah. 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 Which episode did you guys win? Was it second, third, fourth? 
I think the first one. The first, first one. week. Oh. Last week. And where did you come? I remember. Was it first, yeah, or second? Uh, yeah. I think second. Second, second mashallah. You've secured your place, so mashallah. Quick on on the brothers. We're going to go to the next family, inshallah, the next contestants on screen. Mashallah. He's the crocodile. They call him the snapper. Mashallah. Team crocodile or team croc. Salam alaikum. He's frozen, inshallah. Uh, he's probably in the swamp salam. somewhere. But, uh, mashallah. Is he there? Uh, Ahi, your your uh, screen is frozen, inshallah. We'll have to come back to you in a second. Okay. Bit of technical no difficulty, problem. Habibi. Uh, let's go and uh, meet the next team, inshallah. Mashallah, we got Team Jaff. Now, Team Jaff, I need to ask you a question. Because we're all wondering, even the brothers in the back, what does Jaff mean? What is it short for? Team Jaff, are you there? Inshallah, you might want to unmute your mics, guys. Mashallah, we don't know if we, we can, can't get any sound. Never mind, Inshallah, let's go to uh, Team... Mashallah, now Team Jaff, what, what, what does Jaff mean? Tell us all about this nickname, where did you get this from? Uh, that's that's uh, my dad's family name, uh, Junaid Ali family. Mashallah, so it's like an yeah, acronym, yeah? Yeah, it's an acronym, yeah. Mashallah, now, uh, the brother on the right-hand side, we need to come more in the camera. We need to see you, inshallah. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Now, guys, be honest, yeah? Do you guys think you've you got what it takes to win? Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Mashallah, you got uncle in the back. Salam alaikum, mashallah. Oh, like it, Allah <laughs> Akbar. Fantastic. Just keep your camera steady, inshallah. We're going to come right back to you. We're going to go to Team Kaju. Mashallah, he's a lonely soldier in his office. Can we go to Team Kaju now, inshallah? Yeah. Can we go to Team Kaju, inshallah? Who's next? Right, I think there's a bit of a mix up there. All right, let's speak to anyone, inshallah. Right, okay, we're going to come back to you guys, inshallah. We'll have a chat in between all of them, inshallah. But brothers and sisters, there's three rounds. And like you know, brothers and sisters, we're going to take each question fastest on the buzzers. Are you guys ready? Yep. Let's go, inshallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Let's go, inshallah. Right, okay, here we go. Question one it is always the general knowledge round. Let the quest begin. May Allah Azza wa make it easy for all of you, inshallah. May the best man, the best woman win. Let's go. Right, question one out of 21. 12 players ready. 12 teams tonight, inshallah. Only one winner. Only one winner. So make it count. All right, bismillah. Let's go. I'm excited. I'm actually nervous myself, brothers and sisters. Right, which metal is liquid at room temperature? Which metal is liquid at room temperature? Is it platinum, mercury, copper or brass? Is it platinum, mercury, copper or brass? And it is indeed mercury. Well done, mashallah. Some scientists in the house. Allahu Akbar. Fantastic work, inshallah. Now, let's see how that's moved on the leaderboard. I think it's... Vote Goat, Team Croc, fastest there. Team Jeff was in there, mashallah. Abrar Azad. And we're going to say salam. Don't worry, we're going to get all of you on the TV. And we're going to make sure we chat to all of you. But Vote Goat, you are the fastest tonight. Uh, let's go with the second question, brothers and sisters. And welcome the non-nibblers as well. I like that name, mashallah. Right, okay. Question two out of 21. Let's go. Right, who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Was it Vincent van Gogh, Salvador Dali, Pablo Picasso or Michelangelo? Now, I'm going to have to call out our beautiful brother Zishan. He's making it too easy for you guys. My goodness, it was Michelangelo, subhanAllah. That was a very easy one. Guys, this is the final, subhanAllah. We got to up the game for these guys. We got to make them sweat, subhanAllah, tonight. Right, question three. But let's go to the leaderboard. But I'll tell you what, brothers and sisters. It is definitely going to get harder, inshallah. Right, well done for Team Crocna, 917 points. 
up and Team Jeff and Team Haskik have dropped down to the bottom of the leaderboard but Abrar Azad is in the house followed by Zayan in third place. There's only one winner tonight, not three brothers, sisters so make sure you make it count. Question three, let's go. Yes, answer fast to get more points on the board. We like it, we like it a lot. What is the name of the largest reef system in the world? Yes. Is it Apple Reef, Ningaloo Reef, Great Barrier Reef or Amazon? It is the Great Barrier Reef as well. And you know, bonus points. I'm sure if you'll be able to tell me where that is in the world. Mashallah. Right, let's take a look at the leaderboard, brothers and sisters. We can almost hear it. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Mashallah. Right, let's take a look. And... It is, Choco was quite fast, Zayan was quite fast on that one as well. I'll give, give, give a big salam to um, also Uzma, subhanAllah, Uzma's dropped down. So Team Croc, you are leading the way with your diamond ring. Yes, it is amazing, mashallah, fantastic work. This is the final and we are ready, we're excited. Who's going to go to Umrah, mashallah. Right, okay, question four out of 21. Let's go, inshallah. Right, who painted the starry night? Oh my goodness, Zishan, what are you doing? SubhanAllah, guys in the back, you gotta make it harder than this. Was it Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent van Gogh, Salvador Dali, or Pablo Picasso? It was indeed Vincent van Gogh. My goodness, SubhanAllah, this is the stuff that you learn back in school, man. Come on, mashallah, but let's see anyway. Uh, Team Croc, well done. Zayan, well done for that as well. Mashallah. Team Kaju, he's in the uh, in the mix as well. He's moved up the leaderboard a bit. But Abrar Azad, the friendly ghost, is in pole position. Mashallah, Abrar Azad, Allah bless you. Keep up the good work, but let's see if you're going to remain Top spot, inshallah. Question five out of 21, fastest answer on the buzzer. Now don't give up because we know it can always change at any point. What is the name of the longest river in South America? Longest river in South America. Is it Missouri, Colorado, Columbia or the Amazon River? Now last time we had some questions about the River Nile a few ago few episodes ago and yes indeed it was the Amazon River who got that one wrong we're gonna find out right now because there's no hiding in this round everyone is there mashallah and let's see how and where that brings us 946 points Abrar Azad mashallah top spot and Haskik you are at the bottom subhanallah but don't give up keep going keep plowing through the questions and well done for Team Croc as well in second place. It's actually neck and neck between the Croc and Abrar. Who is going to win the quest for Umrah, inshallah, 2024. Right, who composed the Four Seasons Violin Concertos or Concertos as it is known? And I can't pronounce those names. Uh, but you guys, there are the options on there, inshallah. Sibelius, Beethoven, Vivaldi or Tchaikovsky. I think I've spelled, said that right. It is, yes, Antonio Vivaldi. Yes, it is Antonio. Three of you got that wrong. Well, four got that wrong and five got that right. Right, has that changed anything in regards to the leaderboard? Saf, oh, what's happened? Team Croc, oh, what's going on there? And it is Zayana who's taken second place and Team Croc has plummeted all the way down. Halfway, not all the way down. And Team Jaff, you've got a football as your icon, but come on. You need to score a goal tonight, inshallah. Let's move on to question seven. Uh, and I believe this is the final question of the general knowledge round. Let's go, right. What is the only vowel not used as a first letter in any US state? Is it E-I-O-O-U? What is the only vowel not used as a first letter in any US state? This is a very good one, guys. I really like this question. It is E, yes, it is. It is E. Very good. I like that, subhanAllah. These are the questions that we like. And that is the end of round one, guys. Should we take a look at the scores? Or are we going on a break? Let's take a look, inshallah, at the leaderboard before we move on to a break. And Zayan was lightning fast there. Zayan, well done, mashallah. And Zayan is in the lead. It is a little fish in a big ocean. And he's swimming his way to the Kaaba, inshallah. Although there's no water, subhanAllah, in Mecca. But around it, there is, mashallah, to get there. Mashallah, fantastic work Zayan. Mashallah and Chima, Kima, uh, the koala bears, they are in last position. But there's always hope. Don't give up hope. 
and don't brothers and sisters despair of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Uh, can we go before we go on break? Can we go? Uh, there we go. Yep. I don't know what happened there, mashallah. We're gonna go to Team Croc. Now, Team Croc, subhanAllah, we're just gonna say, how are you feeling? How, how did you think you did that round, bro? I think it, it was all going good till that um, that music one. And like, I just, I obviously, I didn't have any knowledge about that. So I just fell down the leaderboard. No. But inshallah, I will be back soon. You'll be back, bro. And th- th- subhanAllah, there's 14 questions, Akhi. Do you think you can make it? Yeah, yeah, I think I can do it. Come inshallah, on, then, bro. Inshallah. Mashallah, bro. Keep it up, inshallah. We're going to go to a break, brothers and sisters, and we're going to be back to speak to more contestants, inshallah. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharik alaka labbaik Inna alhamda wa ni'amata This show is brought to you by Tezkiya Tours. This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharik alaka labbaik Inna alhamda wa ni'amata 
Welcome back guys, mashallah, what an amazing final we have on our hands. We have gone through the first seven questions. The first round of general knowledge is out of the way, subhanAllah. And what a leaderboard, subhanAllah, is absolutely neck and neck. We're going to go to a few of the contestants, mashallah, that we haven't spoken to, just to get a little bit of a feel, subhanAllah, what their thoughts are, inshallah, in terms of that round, so, subhanAllah. So can we go to maybe Team Kaju? Can we go to Team Kaju? Are they there, inshallah? Or there, yes. Yeah, assalamu alaikum, bro. Alaikum how you doing? Mashallah, fantastic. We can't see your face right away, but mashallah, how did you find that round, bro? Uh, some tricky questions there. Yeah. Uh, that's expected. Isn't which, which, one, which one took you off guard? Oh, that last one. I misread it, but the answer was Q. So I've seen a similar question. Yep, yep, subhanAllah. And bro, you know what? You was right at the... Uh, you've been in the mix of it. Do you think you can end up in first position tonight? I always have faith. That's how I got through. Come on, come on, one. bro. I remember. I remember the episode. You were yeah. there and you just kept persisting, persisting. And then you got up. Now, bro, I have to ask you. Kaju, can you give us a little bit of it? Is it a family name? Does it mean something? It does actually mean something. It's the youngest daughter's... Nickname. Mashallah, mashallah. So that's it. And who you who are you planning to go to Umrah with, bro? If if you do win, inshallah. Uh, we'll take the baby. Yeah. We've used the name. Um, yeah. And inshallah, take the family members. Um, mashallah, fantastic, fantastic. Well, Akhi, we're gonna keep an eye out on you, inshallah, on the leaderboard. Can we go to the non nibblers? The non nibblers. I'll be honest. The non nibblers is my favorite name in the whole <laughs> mashallah competition. Now, guys. Have we got the non-nibblers online, inshallah? Yes, yes, yes. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, rahmatullah. Now, which one is the non-nibbler out of you guys? Me. It is you. Now, who came up with the name? Was that you? I did, yeah. Mashallah. Now, bro, where are you, where are you uh, dialing in from tonight? Which part of the UK? Uh, London, East London. East London oh. is in the house, Akhi, subhanallah. And non-nibblers, what's going on? You weren't even in the top three. We're ever fourth, but um, the music question uh, threw us off. I'm not an avid listener of classical music, so I didn't know the answer. Fair enough, and, and that's a good. That's a good point. That is a very good point. You know, bro, I don't make the question <laughs> subhanallah, but you know what? Alhamdulillah, he keep it going on. Inshallah, you're still there, and there's still a chance. You think you can win? Of course, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, keep it going, bro. Remember, inshallah, don't lose faith, mashallah. Can we go to maybe one more? Uh, one more of the contestants. All right, we'll come and speak to you guys, I promise, inshallah, as the next round progresses. Let's go on with the next round, inshallah. If we can get it on the board and we can begin with question eight. Mashallah, it is sports. Yes, put your sports caps on, guys. Question eight of 21, and it is literally neck and neck. Mashallah. What is the maximum number of golf clubs a golfer is allowed in their bag during a round? This is actually it's quite interesting. Is it 10? Is it 12, is it 14, or is it 16? The maximum number of golf clubs a golfer is allowed. It is indeed, yes, 14. Mashallah, five of you got that right. And five of you actually got that wrong. More than half of you, subhanAllah. Well, guys, maybe you don't watch golf. I like golf as well, mashallah. But let's take a look at the leaderboard. And I actually didn't know that. Uh, I thought they could take as many as they wanted. Right, Zayan, Abra, Team Croc and the non nibblers. What happened? Oh my goodness, it's flipped upside down and Saf is in the lead, mashallah, followed by Zayan and Kaju. We just spoken to him. He had faith and he wants to take his baby to Mecca. Allahumma barik, mashallah. Can we go to question nine, guys? Question nine. Right, that was a golf round. Yes, it's not always about football, but can this next one be about football? Which sport uses the terms stale fish and McTwist? Nice question. I like it. Is it horse riding, snowboarding, skiing or ice skating? Stale fish and McTwist. I have a guess, but I believe it. Oh, I thought it was ice skating, but indeed it is... Snowboarding. It is snowboarding, brothers and sisters. Mashallah, five of you got that right. Four got that wrong. Uh, sorry, four, five, six, seven of you got that incorrect. And that will definitely change the leaderboard. Let's take a look. This is my favorite episode so far. It has been literally up and down. 
Zayan, what's going on? Subhanallah. Oh, and Choco has taken second position, but Saf is still holding on. The sister, Subhanallah, she was alone in this race, Subhanallah. She had a cap on, she was ready. She might be going to Umrah. Allah knows best. Right, let's go on to the next question, inshallah. I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> Right, the next question, brothers and sisters, we've got it here. It is... Who was the youngest player to score 10,000 points in the NBA? The National Basketball Association. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, LeBron James or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? It was LeBron James, yes, it was... LeBron James, eight of you got that right, mashallah, fantastic. Uh, and you know what? We all used to watch Chicago Bulls when we were younger. We used to play those games uh, on the console, yeah, <laughs> mashallah. And great game, what can I say? Subhanallah, right? Okay, it looks like Chima has scored quite highly there as well. Team Kaju, Saf, Choco, the non nibblers, and the non nibblers have nibbled their way into fifth position, inshallah. There's still a chance, but Saf. The GOAT is holding on with dear life. Now, we had votes GOAT earlier on. Is that the same as Saf? Right, let's go to Team Choco. We're going to go and have a little word with them, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Team Chocos. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, akhi subhanallah. You're second place, bro. What, tell us. I know, I know. How are you feeling? <laughs> Good. That snowboarding one was a bit a lot. I yep. just remember the game I used to play when I was younger. They used to twist around. Ah, right, okay. So guess, but there we go. Yeah, is sport your Feeling forte? Feeling good. You think you've uh, accumulated a lot of points this round, Akhi? Yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah, yeah. Mashallah. I think I've got this in the bag. Come on, bro. He's already saying Labaik, mashallah. He's on his way. But, bro, I'll tell you, the next round is going to be the Islamic knowledge round. So, there's still, you know, time to uh, accumulate more points, inshallah. Right, let's go on to the next question, inshallah. It's fantastic. And then we're going to go speak to more of the brothers and sisters. Inshallah, what a round we have on our hand. I like that McTwist question. Right, how many players are there in a rugby league team? How many players are there in a rugby league team? Is it 12, 13, 14 or 15? Now, guys, I don't know if there's a difference between rugby and rugby union. I don't know if we've taken that into consideration, but it is 13. 13, inshallah, five uh, families got that right, five contestants, inshallah, and seven of you got that wrong. Now, subhanAllah, we've told you, for the final, we've actually upped the questions, brothers and sisters, right? We've upped them because we're not playing any games tonight. This is a serious journey that we're taking. We've got some serious questions on our hands, mashallah, and Team Kaju. Well done, I think you were the fastest there, mashallah. Team Haskik was all the way at the bottom, but they plummeted all the way at the top. But still, Saf is holding on with Dia Life, and right behind her is Choco. He ain't messing around, subhanAllah. He's determined to get there, inshallah. Right, okay, fantastic. Now, um, can we go? Well, let's finish the round, then we'll go and speak to uh, some of the teams out there. 12 out of 21. Question 12 out of 21. Fingers on buzzers. Get ready for this one, guys. In which sport would you perform the Fosbury flop? The Fosbury flop. Long jump, hurdles, the pole vault, or the high jump? The Fosbury flop. Never heard of that, but it is the high jump. Yes, it is the high jump. I don't know how so many of you got that right. How did you know that? SubhanAllah, you guys must be watching a lot of the Olympics. Right, okay, and let's take a look at the leaderboard, inshallah. Right, Zayan, well done, Zayan, Team Haskik, Team Croc there, kind of fell back a little bit, and he's fallen more down, but the top three are still there in the lead. Now, can we go and speak to Team Haskik? Is it possible before the break? Right, Team Haskik is not there. Can we speak to Team Uzma? Is Team Uzma in the house, inshallah? Right, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, Team Uzma. Wa alaikum salam wa wa barakatuh. Mashallah, bro. Where's the rest of the family? You look alone, bro. Uh oh, <laughs> they, they left me alone at home, man. Come on, come on. Now. Got... now, Akhi, come on. Why are you not in the top three? What's going on? Which question put you off? It's the, the, the basketball question that threw me off. I thought it would have been um, 
Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Come on, come on. Now, bro, I'll be honest with you. There's still one more round. Do you think that you can change things and change it around, inshallah, bring yourself up to the top? Maybe you never know if it's in God's will. It could be. It could mashallah, be we like the belief. I like it there, Akhi. Don't give up, inshallah. You've even got your white phobe on ready, bro. Subhanallah. <laughs> come on now, inshallah. Allah bless you, Akhi. Subhanallah. Keep uh, going. There's only the seven questions around, inshallah ta'ala. Um, can we go to uh, another contestant, inshallah? Can we go and speak to another? Yep. We're going to have a look, inshallah ta'ala, at someone else. We've spoken to uh, the non-nibblers. Can we go someone else, inshallah? Is anyone else there? Maybe Team Chima. Is Team Chima there, inshallah? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Team Chima. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Mashallah. Now, sis, um, I hate to say it, but you're in bottom place. What's going on? <laughs> well, we're playing on behalf of our brother who's at Iftikaf right now, so we weren't prepared for this at all. It's kind of been a bit of a last minute thing. No worries, no worries, man. You might give him a surprise, Subhanallah. He comes back from Iftikaf and say, Bro, <laughs> you're going Umrah, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. inshallah. Now tell us, is it Chima or is it Kima? We need to know. It's Chima. Ah, it's Chima, mashallah. I'm guessing that's the family name. It is, yes. Now, sis, subhanAllah, everyone's looking, think there's no way that these guys can do it. But do you believe, inshallah, there's still a chance to get there, to the top? Inshallah, we'll try our no, best. Keep going, inshallah. <laughs> subhanAllah, we're rooting for you, subhanAllah. We like the underdogs, subhanAllah. We are going to go for a break, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. No, oh, actually, been told, no break, mashallah. We can continue with the next rally. Uh, oh, it's a question 13. Actually, excuse me, subhanAllah. I've got my, you know, subhanAllah, uh, wrong cap on today, subhanAllah. It is question 13 before we go, subhanAllah, on to a break. We've got two more questions of this round. Can we have a look at the next question? In which country is traditionally thought to be the birthplace of Polo? The birthplace of Polo. Is it Iran? Is it Iraq? Is it America? Or is it Kuwait? The birthplace of Polo. Oh, wow. And it is indeed Iran. Now, that has literally threw me, brothers and sisters. Who would have known it was Iran, the birthplace of Polo? Subhanallah. A lot of you put Iraq there. Uh, you know, it was a neck and neck. Definitely not America, nor was it Kuwait. So let's take a look at the family's contestants that got that right. Inshallah. Wow. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. Choco did well there, mashallah. And Choco, subhanAllah, Choco has taken the lead, the chocolate. And we're going to go and speak to Choco in a little bit, inshallah. But let's go on to the final question of the round, inshallah. The final question, brothers and sisters, before you can breathe, then we go on to the next round, inshallah. This is the final question of the round. Which woman has won the most Grand Slam titles? Is it Steffi Graf, Serena Williams, Billy Jean King, or Margaret Court. Now, the Grand Slam is obviously the tennis. Which woman has won the most Grand Slam titles? It was Margaret Court. Yes. I believe it or not, subhanAllah. Yes, Serena, Venus, Williams, they're very popular in the tennis world. But it was indeed Margaret Court, subhanAllah. Yep. Uh, let's take a look then, brothers and sisters. We're going to move on to the leaderboard. And has that changed anything? Perhaps. Let me put my teeth back in. Perhaps it has. Let's have a look. Right, okay. This is uh, literally, it has been flipped over and over and over again. Subhan, there's been many. Oh, the team Kaju. Oh, he got that right. And St. Elmo is here. Welcome to the show, St. Elmo. But it is Choco holding on. But Saf was actually the fastest of that round. Mashallah. Are we able to go and speak to uh, team Choco? Let's go and speak to Team Choco, inshallah. Team right. Choco, bro, we're back with you, subhanAllah. You, told that, you said that you could do it, and you're back, subhanAllah. Yeah? Remember, bro? I did indeed, yeah. Kun for your kun, bro, be and it becomes. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah, keep up, keep up the good oh. work, Akhi. We like to see you smiling, inshallah. But can we go to another team as well, just to give them a little salams as well, inshallah. Can you move on to another contestant that we haven't spoken to today? Allahu Akbar. We're just waiting. Sorry, there is a little bit of a delay, brothers and sisters. Perhaps we can speak to Zayan. 
Or can we speak to Zayan? Or Toji, Sheikh Toji, we go back. Assalamu alaikum guys, what's going on, mashallah? You were there so my name at the is beginning. Mara, and this is Zayan, so we're, yeah. we're sort of competing against each other. All right, okay, so which one's Zayan then? Who's Zayan? I'm Zayan. I'm Zayan. Oh, you're Zayan. Now, Zayan, subhanAllah, how are you feeling about the rounds? Uh, it's been pretty difficult. I was first place <laughs> and now I'm seventh. So. Subhanallah, don't worry. We started about, so well. Do you know what? Seven has a special number. Seven tawaf, seven sa'i, mashallah. But keep on it, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, we are going to go to a break now. We've got the last round when we come back, inshallah. It is the final seven questions to then reveal the winner of the Quest for Umrah 2024. Stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة This show is brought to you by Tazkia Tours This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik Inna alhamdah wa ni'amata Welcome back, brothers and sisters. What a round, what an episode. It is the final of the quest for Umrah 2024, brothers and sisters, where we are sending one family to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're helping towards their fees, inshallah, their transportation, their package to, do, to make and perform, subhanAllah, the lesser pilgrimage, subhanAllah, going to the Kaaba Sharif. Allahu Akbar, we've had uh, many families get involved tonight in this episode. We've had ups, we've had downs, brothers and sisters, but it is not over yet. And one of the families that we have not spoken to is Abrar Azad. So we're going to go to team Abrar Azad. Assalamu alaikum, guys. 
Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, where are you guys dialing in from tonight? I keep saying tonight. Yeah, is yeah, the that, we're, we're from Bolton, we're representing Bolton today. Come on, Bolton is in the house, subhanAllah. Bolton Wanderers, MashaAllah, na Abrar. I, I, I'm guessing you're abroad in the middle, is that right? So I'm abroad and this is Ayan. This is my brother Ayan. So Marshall. We, both, we both reached the final. And uh, we're not, now we're competing against each other as well. Oh, so another team that's competing against each other, subhanAllah. <laughs> and sis, salam yeah. alaikum sis. Uh, can we get your name, mashallah? How are you finding it? My name's Adiba. Yeah. I came fourth last week and didn't make it to the final. Ah, you're a diva. Yeah, that's right. I remember, subhanAllah. Well, you know what, guys? It is a chance of a lifetime, subhanAllah. Will it be all of you going to the trip of Umrah if you win, inshallah? Inshallah, inshallah. We'll be taking our room as well, definitely. Mashallah, of course. And I'll tell you what, guys, the next round is the Islamic knowledge round. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> Yeah, 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 we should be okay, inshallah. Oh, don't, you don't sound so confident there, bro, mashallah. Well, Allah bless you. Keep it up, inshallah, guys. It is the Islamic knowledge round. Fastest hand on the buzzers. We are going to go with question, brothers and sisters, 15 out of 21. There's only seven left, inshallah. And I'll tell you what, these are not easy, brothers and sisters. Yes, we've left the hardest to last, inshallah. Right, okay, question 15. Who's death? Shook the throne of Allah Azza wa Jal. Whose death shook the throne of Allah? Was it Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib? Was it Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, Umar ibn al Khattab, or Ali ibn Abi Talib? It was Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. MashaAllah, more than we expected. Uh, that got that correct. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard and see what the scores on the doors are, inshallah. Many of you got that right. I think Chima fell slightly back that episode. No, what is going on? But Zayan has moved up. He was the fastest there, Zayan. Well done, mashallah. And Chaco is still in the lead. Allahumma barik akhi, subhanallah. Right, question 16 of 21. Okay, so, and, and yes, I had a hand in, you know, uh, Deciding some of these questions. Who put a carcass on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he prayed? Was it Abdul Uzza bin Abdul Muttalib, Amr ibn Hisham, Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayt, or Suhail ibn Amr? It was Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayt. Yes, it was, and he put the uh, I think the intestines over the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he prayed. It was six of you got that correct. I think it was was it camel intestines. I've been told in the in ear, inshallah. Well, let's see who got that right. Subhanallah. Many of you thought it was the first option, but Abrar Azad is steaming through those guys from Bolton. They are not playing games. Subhanallah. They want. The chance to Umrah and it's swapped again. It is Saf. She in pink has moved forward. Is it he or she? Is it Mystic Saf? Is it the sister? I can't remember. Apologies. But it is indeed Saf. Right. Okay, let's move on to the next question, brothers and sisters. Yes. Uh, and let's see. If it is a question you can now, which valley did the Prophet ﷺ give da'wah to the jinn kind? The kind of the jinn. Which valley? Was it Wadi Al Aqiq, Wadi Usfan, Dhul Hulayfa, or Wadi Nakhla? It was Wadi Nakhla. MashaAllah, you know we have uh, we have some brothers and sisters, mashallah, they've been up in their Islamic knowledge game, mashallah. And Let's see how that has changed the leaderboard as we draw closer to the end. It was only three of you, Saf, Choco and Kaju. I believe everyone else got that incorrect, subhanAllah, but those are leading the lines. There's only three left in there and Kaju, he's waiting, subhanAllah. So is Choco and Saf. Can we go back to Kaju, inshallah? Team Kaju, Salamu alaikum. Wa Right, bro, we're all about winding down. Are you feeling nervous? I am a little bit, but first and second, I look in a bit. Yeah, yeah, it is quite fast. Now, bro, I need to ask you, how did you know the answer to that last question? Was it something you learned? I knew it was learned? wadi, because the word wadi means valley in Arabic. Yep, yep. And I guessed it. I guessed uh, one of the wadis and it was right. It's probably the best guess you've taken in your life. SubhanAllah. <laughs> right, mashallah. And yes, alhamdulillah. Can we go to Team Saf? Uh, can we go back to Team Saf? We're just going to get up here. Wa alaikum salam. Subhanallah. Now, sis, subhanallah. How, how are you finding the questions? Are they a bit difficult? 
Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, Zaman, I've been told in the India. Apologies, right. Bro, how are you finding those questions? Very tough, but some of them are guesses and I get the guesses right, alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. And, now, I yeah. need to ask you, bro, and this is only just a bit of tongue-in-cheek now. Tonight, subhanallah, bro, you're dressed a little bit like Zoro. What's going on, subhanallah? <laughs> You've got your bandana on. Um, well... If my fans see me on TV, they're going to say, oh, give, give, take me home, Razo, take me home, Razo. So. <laughs> but I, I take my family. Ah, uh, mashallah. So wicked anyway, mashallah. Allah bless you, bro. Jazakallah, okay, man. So you think you can win? Inshallah. Inshallah. Keep you. going. Saf, mashallah. Let's go on with the next question, and then we might have a little word with Choco, inshallah. Right. Let's go. Question 18, brothers and sisters. Let's see what we have in store for you. They will indeed get harder. Which companion used his teeth to tear off the Prophet ﷺ's helmet during Uhud? Which companion was it? Was it Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Abu Ubaidah al-Jarrah, or Abu Sufyan ibn Har? It was Abu Ubaidah. Yes, Ibn al-Jarrah, mashallah. It was the second battle of al-Islam. Yes, the second battle. And let's take a look, brothers and sisters, who uh, scored quite high on that. Oh, the non-nibblers are still in the lead. But I think Choco and Kaju, did they do anything? Has it changed the top? It is still Saf in the lead. The youngest contestant as well tonight, mashallah, leading the Line now, brothers and sisters, we got a few questions left. Are we able to go to back to Team Choco just to see how he's feeling? Subhanallah. Right, let's go, Team Choco. Ahi, you're currently in second position. We have around three questions left, bro. Tell me what is running through your mind right now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't explain it. I... Is it is it like we'll an see, adrenaline we'll knowing that it could be you that's going to Umrah? It could be me, inshallah, 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 you'll see me there. Mashallah. And I'll tell you what, you've seen the younger brother, Saf, he's determined as well. Subhanallah. And he's doing well for a youngster, I have to, I must say, mashallah, bro. All right, we wish you all the best. Allah bless you, Akhi, subhanallah. We have three questions left. Brothers and sisters, let's go on to the next question. Mashallah. It is literally neck and neck. If we take that off the screen, I don't know what happened there. Subhanallah. Right, let's go on to the final question, brothers. Oh, not the final. I think we have two or three more. But remember, we do contribute towards the prize money, inshallah, to go to perform Al Umrah, the house of Allah Azza wa Jal. Right, which one of these is not, not a companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Is it Shaddad ibn Aus, Sufyan ibn Asad? Suraika ibn Malik or Shuja ibn Asad. It is indeed, oh my god, one of you, and I told Zishan about this question. I had to put it in there, Subhanallah. That was my question. I have to say that it was indeed Sufyan ibn Asad was not a companion. Who got that correct? MashaAllah. Shadad ibn Aus radiallahu anhi was a companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Team Kaju, my goodness. Team Kaju, I'll tell you, that was my question there, right, bro? You gotta thank me there. Or perhaps, bro, you gotta bring me some Zamzam back from Mecca. Is that a deal, bro? Come on. Absolutely a deal. Inshallah. Come on. Bring yeah. All right. And wallahi, bro. Wallahi. We just put that one in there. And I said, I need to think of a hard question, subhanAllah. MashaAllah, bro. And did you know that? Or was that another guess? Process of elimination. Process of elimination, mashallah. I like it a lot, okay. Jazakallah khair, mashallah. Well, let's go to, I think, the final question of the whole entire... No, question, two more. I'm just getting too excited, brothers and sisters, about this. And you know what? For all you participating, Allah bless all of you, mashallah. Let's keep it going. Right? How many times does Allah mention In Surah Al-Rahman, how many times is that verse... Uh, how many times is that verse mentioned? Which of the favors of your Lord do you deny? How many times? Is it 28, 30, 31 or 33? Indeed, it was 31 times. Yes. And uh, six of you, was that six? I can't really see. It's really small there. SubhanAllah. But that has indeed changed 
the face of the game perhaps and let's see uh, two of you put 33 now that is the age of the people of Jannah oh, no. mashallah right let's go and take a look is it Choco still team Saf team Kaju team Haskik or is it Zayan? Right, oop, there's a lot of movement there. The non-nibblers have moved up a bit. But Saf has actually moved back into pole position in first place. MashaAllah. Fantastic work, fantastic work. Now, brothers and sisters, before we go to the final question, I want to see if we're able to get Saf back on the line. Can we get Saf back on the line, inshaAllah? Right, because I gotta ask him a Salam few alaykum. questions. Wa alaikum salam now, Saf. How you are top of the leaderboard. You are one question away from the all important trip of a lifetime. Are you going to make it over the line, bro? What do you feel? Inshallah. Uh, nervous. Very nervous. Are you nervous? Because this is a big thing. And is it the first time you're going Umrah? Will it be the first time? Second, I think. Second time, mashallah. And imagine. That you're bringing your family based on the knowledge that you guys have, have, have got, mashallah. Right, bro, keep up the good work. It's one more, inshallah. There's many people yeah, watching at home thinking, can he do it? And let me just go to Choco before we go. Can we go to Choco, inshallah? Have we got time? Let's have a look. Right, Chocos. Is it Chocos or Choco? Chocos. It's Choco. 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 Chocolates. Chocolates. Chocolate, subhanallah. Right, bro. You're in second position. Oh, what's going yeah, through your mind? Uh, what's going through your mind, man? I gotta say. Uh, last question. I'm, I'm hoping it's not good, but uh, Saf, I don't know, presses the wrong button or something. I don't know. Do you know what? what subhanallah, we don't know who he is, but Baki, Subhanallah. And I actually can't remember what the question was, bro. Subhanallah. Do you know what, Akhi? Win, lose or draw. Subhanallah, you've been amazing tonight. Subhanallah, bro. But you know what? Let's see. Is your family watching, bro? Before we go into the last question, you want to say a message to your family watching, inshallah? <laughs> uh, mum, make some good iftari today, please. <laughs> <laughs> inshallah. Come on, mum. Especially if you win that umrah, bro. She's going to make you the moon, the world, mashallah. Right, okay. Let's go to the final question, brothers and sisters. You can see the smile on my face. I'm so excited. I'm happy. Mashallah, I love it. Right, let's move on to the final question of the quest for Umrah 2024. And the question is, who is the youngest of these four scholars, these four ulama? Who is the youngest? Imam Muslim, Ibn Hajar, Abu Hanifa, or, Abu Hanifa, or Ibn Rajab? Who is the youngest of these four scholars? And yes, again, this was my question. And it was Imam Muslim, but none of you got that right. Allahu Akbar. SubhanAllah. Zishan, what did I tell you? What did I tell you, Zishan? No one got that right. SubhanAllah, it was Imam Muslim. And let's go to the leaderboard, which I believe it would stay the same. But can we just get a confirmation on the board, inshallah? But we're going to come back after the break, inshallah ta'ala. Stay tuned, brothers and sisters. And we wish you all the best. Allahumma barik lakum for all of your participation. Stay tuned to reveal the winner of the quest for Umrah. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة This show is brought to you by Tazkia Tours
This show is brought to you by Tezkia Tours. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik Inna alhamdah wa ni'amata Welcome back. I'm exhausted, brothers and sisters, and I'm sure the contestants are also very, very tired. We had an amazing, amazing episode, brothers and sisters. We've had the ups, we've had the downs, we've had the right answers, we've had people getting the wrong answers, we've had twists and turns throughout the whole of the series, subhanAllah. Not just today, but the entirety of this series, subhanAllah, the quest for Umrah. MashaAllah, it's been amazing. We've met some amazing people, MashaAllah, but it is that time. Tonight, right now, brothers and sisters, to confirm and to reveal the winners of the quest for Umrah, subhanAllah. Um, we are going to go to uh, the top three contestants before we reveal, inshallah. Um, so if we can get them on the line. Salamu alaikum, Chim Chokos. Wa alaikum salam. Now, bro, how did you feel about that final question, bro? <laughs> Oh, uh, panic mode. Uh, I don't know what to say. And I'll be honest, we, when we were doing the research of this, that particular one, we put the Imam Muslim in there because many people thought Hadith, you know, he must be, you know, the older than the rest. <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah, Imam Muslim, yeah, exactly. he was, he's the youngest, uh, and subhanAllah, you know. Uh, but you know, Akhi, we're gonna we're gonna reveal uh, the uh, the answers, inshallah. We're gonna reveal the winner of the episodes, inshallah. Let's go to Team Kaju. Assalamu alaikum, Team Kaju. Wa alaikum Right, which one would you say from the whole entire round was the most difficult question? Oh, question. Probably that last one you slipped in. Probably the last one, yeah. And can I ask what what did you answer? Who did you put I down? I stumbled. I just. Panicked and pressed something just like the other guy. Do, do you remember? Do you remember who you opted for? Oh, well, definitely wrong answer. So it's the right one. <laughs> Subhanallah. Well, you know, we are going to reveal, Subhanallah. But, bro, imagine, you know, whoever it is, we always say you'll confirm in the whole of UK from the top three. At least you'd say that's, that's a big. A big achievement, Subhanallah. We are going to look at the leaderboard, brothers and sisters, and we're going to reveal. The in, are we going to do it from 3 to 1? Let's reveal, inshallah, the winners or the winner of the quest for Umrah, subhanAllah, 2024. So in third place, so is that first place, inshallah? We're just going to get a confirmation on that, inshallah. Right, it is, brothers and sisters, we can be confirmed that it is Team Saf, can you hear me? Yes, Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Now, bro, is there any chance that we can speak to you without the bandana? We can have, we can see your expression, your smile, inshallah. <laughs> Uh, no, this is, this is my mother's request to wear this, so... Oh, it's your mother. Okay, you gotta listen to your mom. Right, how are you feeling then, bro? Alhamdulillah, it's been like two years of just like failing, failing, just trying to get win first Roma and now it's go, paid off. Now I gotta ask, how old are you, Sab? How old are you, bro? I'm uh, 13. You're 13? And, and yeah. have you, did you enter the year before the previous years or is this your first time? No, every year, we, me and my family have been entering. And persistence is the key, you see? Yeah. Subhanallah, so since, when was your first year that you entered? I think two years ago. Two years ago, so this is your third year and you're the winner of the quest for Umrah. Now, bro, is there any chance, is anyone there with you? Brothers, sisters, uncles, whoever can join you on screen, inshallah, and how are they feeling? We want to get their thoughts as well. I mean, they're there, but they don't want to come on. Right, well, can they give say, us a cheer from the back? Can they say, I'm going to shout takbir. I want all of them to say Allahu Akbar. Takbir! <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Now, we got to ask you, who are you taking to Umrah? I think you mentioned your mom earlier, but you can just give us a yeah. little, uh, what are your plans? Who are you taking? When are you planning to go? Uh, inshallah, my grandma, my mother, my father. Um... Yeah, you, you're going yeah. as well, obviously, yeah? MashaAllah. Huh? Pardon? 
Are you, and you're planning to go as well, inshallah, of course. Inshallah, yeah. Of course you are, mashallah. Now, subhanAllah, remember there was thousands, thousands of entries. How does it feel being number one? Alhamdulillah, I made lots of dua. My mom made lots of dua. My family made lots of dua. Mashallah. And, uh, I also fulfilled it. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And you're 13 years old and do you know, bro, Another achievement is you're the youngest winner, if I can confirm that from the, the guys in the back. You are actually the youngest winner that we've had on the whole series, bro. You're 13 years old. You had a vision to take your family to Umrah and you brought that to fruition. I've got to ask you, mashallah, what was your feeling when you saw the last question that nobody got it correct? I was completely confused. I just guessed it. Just yeah. randomly tapped it. Yeah. Were you, were you slightly relieved as well that nobody got that? Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. And you had some great, great, um, um, I would say, contestants on the show as well. So when are you planning to go to Umrah? Is it this year, inshallah? Uh, that's up to my family, inshallah. But Mashallah. Inshallah, fantastic. maybe this year. And just before you go, bro, where are you tuning in from? Where are you from in the UK? London. Which part of London? Let's give them a shout out. Can you say? Which area? Um... Like North West London North West London Mashallah Fantastic Fantastic work Akhi Subhanallah Saf You are going To uh, the house Of Allah Azza wa Jal With your mom Inshallah The team Will get in touch With you in the back They're going to confirm All the details We want to say Mabrook Mashallah What a gift for Ramadan That you have Now before you go bro What, quest, what message Do you have For everybody Watching Everyone who's tried to enter, you need to just make lots of du'a. I've I made lots of du'a, been trying for years, and it's paid off. Alhamdulillah, working with my family, getting our answers together, but it pays off. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, fantastic. Fantastic. Jazakallah khaysaf. Allah bless you. Very happy for you and your family. And you know what, brothers Jazakallah. and sisters, everybody that participated, wallahi, we haven't forgotten you, subhanAllah. You've also done amazing to be in the top 10, uh, subhanAllah, in the world to get this opportunity. Allah bless you. Keep in your Ramadan worship, subhanAllah. Keep making lots of dua. But brothers and sisters, there's always chance next year. We're going to change the format a bit. We're going to make it bigger. We're going to make it better, inshallah. And uh, enter next year as well, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. It's been amazing. I've really enjoyed this show. I've been loving all of the questions, loving all of the participation, loving all of the competition. But brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, it is the end of uh, the show now. And we're going to bid you brothers and sisters with a dua Allah bless all of you Allah keep you safe may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a great end to your Ramadan and make you sincere in your deeds and in your worship we're going to give you a big salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh until next year assalamu alaikum لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك This show is brought to you by Tezkiah Tours